Now then, I'm sure that like me, you have all wondered what you would do if you won a huge sum of money, perhaps playing the lottery or something similar. Maybe you dream about your numbers coming good one day. But is winning the lottery jackpot a shortcut to a great life? You would think so, but actually, sorry to disappoint, it isn't necessarily. History is littered with big winners who ended up in terrible financial troubles. Let's look through a few of the examples. One of the earliest big winners in the UK was a lady called Viv Nicholson in 1961. She won about £150,000, which although it doesn't sound like much nowadays, back then, we're talking over 50 years ago, that was worth about £5 million in today's money. She worked at the time in a cake factory, and when asked what she was going to do with the money, she uttered the almost immortal words, spend, spend, spend. And she didn't disappoint on that promise. She spent it all, battled depression and alcohol addiction, and died aged 79 in, 20, 000, in 2015. One from the USA now. In 1997, a gentleman called Billy Bob Harrell Jr. won $31 million. Obviously, he quit his dead-end job, bought a huge house, and bought other homes for himself and his family. He also gave a lot of the money to his church. His religious generosity didn't do him any favours, however. Less than two years after winning, Harrell had spent everything and committed suicide. Another American, Denise Rossi, decided to keep her $1.3 million win a secret from her husband. She divorced him immediately after winning, and when the ex-husband found out, he sued her for not telling her. The judge in the case agreed with him and awarded him all of the money. Back to the UK. One winner in 2002, a certain Michael Carroll, collected his winnings of nearly £10 million wearing an electronic tag which was on him so that the police could keep an eye on his movements because he had recently been arrested again for antisocial behaviour and being drunk and, dis drunk and disorderly. Eight years after winning, he was broke. He had spent all of the money on drugs, prostitutes and gambling. He sounds like a lovely man. For every disaster, of course, there are many winners who go on to lead happy and fulfilling lives. So, should you be the lucky winner at some time in your life, take on board the following advice. Firstly, stay anonymous. If you have your photo all over the media, you will be hounded from morning to night by people asking you for money, either for themselves or for a charity that is close to their heart. Secondly, get some financial advice from people who know what they are talking about. Some of the people I talked about earlier didn't help themselves because they didn't know about the tax laws in their country. Thirdly, is to educate yourself about finance, to make sure the very people you have advising you are actually giving you good advice. All of this is basically making sure that you keep enough money safe for your retirement, your future educational expenses, either yours or your family's, debt repayment and other costs associated with living. Follow that and you should be okay. So let's discuss then, how would you spend a huge windfall of money? <laughs>